Hey, a couple things I want to let everybody know that Logan is coming back. Logan Paul is reportedly returning to vlogging soon. Plus, find out why Debbie Ryan is not here for his supporters. This episode is brought to you by TurboTax. Relax, there's TurboTax. The nonstop backlash for his offensive dead body video isn't enough to keep Logan away from his vlog. Logan Paul has been dragged since last week after posting a video that showed a dead suicide victim's body, which he and his friends commented on and even laughed at. Thousands were outraged at the video, which led Logan to delete it and issue a series of apologies on Twitter. And ultimately he said he was going to take a break from vlogging. Apparently that break isn't going to last too much longer, however, because in a new Instagram post, his father Greg has announced he'll be back soon. Greg posted a video on Instagram that thanked his family's most loyal fans for standing by the Paul family through the controversy. The amount of love that has been coming has been unbelievable. The haters will never, ever have an effect on the Paul family in the way that they want to make it happen. He also wrote in his Instagram videos caption, quote, we all screw up, it's a part of life. Do I agree with everything my boys do? No. Do I agree with some of the things my friends do? No. Do they disagree with some of the things I do? Yes. Face it folks, we all f up at one time or another. That's life. What we do with those mistakes, bad judgment, or whatever term you give it is what matters. I love my boys and I am so proud of them. While it's hard to blame a dad for standing by his kids, calling what Logan did was a mistake or simple bad judgment call seems to miss the mark on just how offensive and hurtful his actions were. One person who will not be happy to see Logan back on YouTube is Disney star Debbie Ryan, because in a new Instagram post, Debbie called out a culture of allowing people like Logan and his brother to thrive, no matter how offensive and careless their actions may be. She wrote in the post, quote, can we please stop glorifying remorselessly irresponsible people? I understand talking about it, it's an important conversation conversation, I think. It's uncomfortable at best and deeply triggering at worst, and not just for those of us who've been convinced by volatile depression and dissociation to engage in selfish, hopeless behavior. But this kid's gotten tens of thousands of new subscribers since this controversy. That's problematic. Rewarding these monsters with money, support, and making them famous. Glamorizing social recklessness and being surprised when their addiction to shock factor crosses lines. She certainly makes some valid points there. Now, while Debbie isn't alone in thinking taking a short break from vlogging is enough punishment for Logan, one recent announcement that he would be banned from the upcoming Vine 2 app has just been proven to be fake. It turns out the tweet that said the handle at Logan Paul would be banned from the app was created by a fake Twitter account. The creator of the Vine 2 app, Dom Hoffman, verified this, saying that so far the app does not have a Twitter account. Dom did not comment on the Logan Paul comment controversy, so for now, it doesn't seem like anyone has been banned from the Vine follow-up app that is expected to come out sometime this year. All right, guys, now I want to know what you make of all of this. Do you think Logan should come back to vlogging, or is it too soon? And are you in Debbie's camp that taking a break from YouTube is not enough punishment for his offenses? Sound off with all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe for more Clever. Thanks so much for joining me on Newsfeed. I'm your host, Nas Press, and I'll see you soon. And after that, click to the left to see the tweet claiming Logan was banned from the Vine 2 platform, and and to the right to see how Selena Gomez unfollowed 300 people on Instagram. This episode was brought to you by TurboTax. Relax, there's TurboTax.